So today I guess we're going to be cleaning this uh, trades rifle from Lyman because we've been shooting it and it's dirty. So I'm going to go over some very simple tools that you might want to consider. And the first one here, we'll just release the pressure on it, is basically a CO2 bike pump. And it takes a 112 gram charge, CO2. And what happens with this is... Whoops, sorry. I'm just going to snap that in there where it's protected. Okay, so it's ready to go. I put the 1 gram CO2 in. And what you do is you get one of these. It's for a uh, bicycle pump um, to pump up a basketball or a football. It's one of them uh, syringe inserts. And what you can do is basically create a very simple... Um, air compressor to clean your tool out and clean your guns out. As you can see, just give a push quick button and it's a good little blaster. So we're going to be using this to clean out our nipple hole and where the, uh, the set screw is. So first thing we'll want to do is actually take the gun apart. Um, basically break it down. So you pull your hammer all the way back. You take this, um, there's this cotter pin thing right there. You just take a blunt end and a screwdriver or whatever and you just push it. If you need to hit it with a hammer, go ahead and do so, but I find it works fine. Just a uh, push it with a screwdriver and pull it out with your hands. If you can do that, that's probably the best way. You won't scratch up your gun. Otherwise, you could take the claw end of the hammer and pull it without prying on your wood. Now you'll want to take out your muzzle loading rod. Don't want to forget to do that or the gun is going to be very difficult to take apart. And without forcing you're just going to rock your barrel out. And that's that. So we got that out. This gun pretty much you can just give it an oil. Uh, clean out where the hammer hits your um, your percussion cap because there's often kind of crud in there. So that will be often the first thing I clean just so I can get it out of the way. The way I do that is you just take any kind of pin tool, flathead screwdriver, just give it a quite a light, just sort of a scrape just around the edge. That just loosens up any kind of crud. Take your toothbrush, dip it in the hops, and just brush it like you were doing teeth. And that cleans out that inside. Just take a dry rag and just give it a wipe. Now if you want, you can oil the gun at this point and do all your cosmetic cleaning on the rifle itself or just put it aside. Uh, when it comes to the trigger and all that, I wouldn't bother taking it apart unless there's something wrong with it. If it's working fine, no point. Um, you can go over your, your screws, just make sure that they're they're tight and that they're not loosening, backing off. And all you just do is give it a light little, see if you can turn it. You don't want to strip them, so don't go too hard. And just make sure that nothing's loosening up. And that's really all you need to do with the wood section of the gun and your trigger group. I wouldn't bother taking it apart, like I said, unless there's something wrong with it. So that can go over to the side. Now we're going to concentrate on this. So here, you can see there is a set screw and a nipple. And both these come off. Take your set screw. I like to take set screw out first because I think it pushes against your nipple. And you just carefully take that out. You don't want to lose it. So I'll show you a quick little trick that I'll do. I put this and my nipple together in the same thing. Uh, I get out one of these little capsules. It's just any kind of container. This happens to be the end of a pipe for plumbing. Just keeps the pipe from having shit to fill in into it. And it's just a pipe insert. But it makes a great little capsule to pour my hot solution into. And I can drop that set screw in there. And I'm going to also drop my nipple in there too to clean it. So, 
what I found worked best, I made a nipple wrench. However, it was too thin. Once I started shooting, this got built up with some crud on it, and it got in there really good. That When I tried to use my nipple wrench I created, it warped. So, I've got a new solution. It's called a pair of alignment pliers. Work great for this. Um, I'm sure there's a nipple tool I could buy, but the alignment pliers is just a little more versatile. And they work just fine, and they don't really strip out my uh, my tool or do any cosmetic damage, really. So, we're just going to thread that out. This is sort of at the point where you start to smell the uh, sulfur and things like that that you've been shooting today. Oops. Just slipping a little bit on it because... I'm just trying to do this in a way that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing as well, so... Anyways, uh, so that just threads off. Once we get this out, we will be on to the next stage of cleaning. So it should come out by hand. There we go. So I've got that out. I'll set my tool aside. Now this, what I do here, is I take this little piece of very thin copper before I drop it into my solution is I try and push this through my uh, nipple hole to make sure it's clean because that's the right diameter for that. It's actually perfect diameter. So this should slide in there without too much difficulty and if I'm getting difficulty it means it's definitely got stuff in there. So I do that before I soak it that's just to make sure it's loose and cleaned up a bit. Now when I soak it, I'm going to get the hops into that hole and break up that even more. So I'll just let that sit there for a little bit. That'll clean that up. Um, now it's the time to uh, take my little toothbrush once again, scrub around those uh, threads and whatnot. We're going to take our Hops bore brush with a different rag stick and just scrub that in there. So we're trying to get some hops down into this chamber to clean out this all this crushed up powder that we've burnt up in there and stuff. And you'll see this is extremely black when I pull it out. And we're not even near done cleaning yet. So what I've done is I've just basically bored up that barrel. Now we're going to take a 50 caliber brush if we can find one. And we're going to scrub the inside of this. That's a 30 cal. Well, I don't have a 50 cal at the moment. It's probably something I should pick up. I don't want to use 12 gauge because it's too big. So I'm just going to use just a regular, um, I think it's actually a 270 or something, or 30 cal. I'm just going to give it just a very light, just ever so light, uh, sort of a rub on the inside there. Uh, it's better than nothing. Uh, but I really should have a 50 cal bore brush. So that is next on the list. But anyways, we'll give it a quick mop. Now we take our tool, this little air compressor tool, and I like to plug the big hole first, that's the nipple hole, Put insert this inside your, your, um, your set screw hole, and give it a blast. And then do the same thing, and keep your bit muzzle down, so you blast everything downwards. take it to the shower or somewhere where you can get hot water in there. I like to flush it out just with hot water. So you just take this like so. Put the I took off the sprayer of my shower so you can see and I just have the, the hose end here 
and we just set that on the end of there and we blast it through with hot water. Oops. Sorry. And you can see the crud coming out. Now I only took about six or seven shots, so there'll only be so much that comes out. So now we flip it around. Just let that sort of piss out. And now flip it around. Plug that and just run some hot water through there. <laughs> you can see all that black stuff come out. I find hot water works really well. You use cold water. Um, I don't know how well that works compared to, to hot water, to tell you the truth, but hot water seems to work. So that's done. So we go take our little air blaster tool and give it another quick little spray. Generally speaking, one charge of CO2 should be enough for this tool for one cleaning. So yeah, it's about a dollar to clean it. There we are. So now we're gonna dry it because it's soaking wet and we know what water does to metal when it sits on it. So we'll dry the outside first. What this does is cleans the surface as well. Then we are going to take our dry mop again gonna dry this off. Run that through. Just uh, dry it out. Take a swabby. Now there's this, and I'll tell you something about this I really don't like. Um, I notice people they just use this this end thing. Sorry, uh, one of these on the end of the ramrod, they'll put a rag just on it like so, um, and then they'll stick it through, and then they'll pull it out. I tried that, I got these stuck in there. I had to flush it out with water again. So um, it doesn't work for me. I don't know why, what I'm doing wrong, but I found a better way to do it. Take this, take two of them, just because two is better. You get a little bit more surface area. You crisscross them, so they're like a star. Run this through the center and then thread it on. And what that does is holds that rag in there so you don't lose it down the muzzle. And it gives you a, uh, a cleaning thing. I find that works best. Uh, to, to put it, a rag on the end of it and then just shove it down, uh, what happens is the, the, the rag falls off the, the end of that thing and gets stuck. And then I have a real problem. So. You can see how dirty it is in there still, even though we washed it. So, take that, flip it around. Get about two swabs out of them. It's getting cleaner. Now, use this. going to just dip it in some oil just ever so slightly because we want some oil on it now. We're going to give it a quick little oil. But now remember you don't want oil stayed in there because it's going to contaminate your powder. The oil doesn't dry very fast. So put another dry one down and with this what I like to do is give it a bit of a wrap. You'll see. Uh, the reason for that is it acts like a uh, like a Q-tip almost. You get more dryness on the, the the edge here. So when you go in, it touches all the way to the end there, and you're not having this puddle this puddle gathering up of oil down in that little cup. It's pretty much a cup down there that holds your powder, and then the ball sits on that. So um, you can see it when you shine the light down there. So anyway, that should be good. I would imagine my barrel is pretty um, clean. 
Uh, as you can see, that last one I just ran out, ran through. It's not too bad. Just a little bit of oil on there. I'll run one more clean one and fresh patch, and you'll see just how clean it is now. And now we'll shine a light in there. So. I can live with that. That's pretty clean. Um, just got a little bit of ever so slight bit of powder residue. So I'll just grab my bore light here and we'll show you guys what the barrel looks like now that we've got it clean. Um, don't know if you'll be able to see it or not actually, but see what we got here. Uh, not sure if you guys can actually see that or not, but ah, it's hard to see. But try snapping a quick picture and we'll see if we can get that to work because of the flash. Well, you couldn't really see down there, but I can. And it looks like a shiny rifle. Uh, you can see the rifling in there. It looks really nice, actually. That cup that the powder sits on has a little teeny bit of um, blackening on it from the powder. But I can live with that. That's just, um, it just shows that the fire, the, or sorry, the rifle has been fired. But it's, I can live with uh, a little teeny bit of powder residue in there. So um, the gun's still going to shoot just fine. So we'll take out our little pieces. We don't want to forget about these. These are quite important. This is your nipple and um, uh, set screw. And you put those back in. This is where you're going to want that little blasty tool again. Um, if only I could find it. Just going to blast out our nipple now. Just stick that in there perfectly and popped it. Um, that was just my thing blowing off. It's okay. <laughs> it's just shows that the, uh, the power of the CO CO2 is pretty good. So just clean that out. And now I'm just going to give my barrel one more blast. So, just put in that tool. And that'll definitely dry it out. Um, push out any kind of residual grease or, or oil or water that I got in there. So now I'm going to put my nipple in, just hand thread start, and we'll use our alignment tool to snug it home. And what I find best is you put, just start your nipple, then you put your set screw in. Um, I like to put my set screw in all the way just so it's flush to the outside, and then you snug your nipple down. And I think this, the nipple actually snugs down onto the set screw, and they both lock each other in place. Um, and I think that's probably the best way to do it. If you put your nipple all the way in and then push the set screw against it, it sticks out a bit. And that set screw wants to snag on things, and I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. So I just put my set screw in. It's flush to the top here. Don't know if you can see that because of my lighting, lighting conditions. But... Um, we're going to get our nipple back on. Sorry, I'm just readjusting my, my light here. So, that's now empty. That tool can go away. We need our alignments. The light just slipped again because... Oh. Here we go. I'm going to thread that in. I'm just trying to do this as fast as I can, this whole skimmick. This shouldn't take very long. Um, it's taking me longer to fiddle with my tools and actually cleaning the gun. So, this isn't hard. Uh, muzzle loaders, I thought, were a lot more involved. It's They're really simple. Uh, I think, actually, a conventional firearm is a little harder to clean. and Probably uh, more to maintain than, than one of these. So, we're going to stick this back together now. We've got it cleaned. Pull that hammer all the way back. You don't want to forget about that. That's kind of important or the gun won't go in. And then you just take your barrel and you rock it in place. Put your set pin in and we're just going to tap it home. 
and we are home. And close that. Put our ramrod back in and we have a clean gun. Now greetings to the world. Vice of the one big gangzilla alongside Skrillex. Symphony! Oh we Mash up the place, turn up the place and make them all have fun. How we a blaze fire, we we'll make it fun. And we mash up the place, turn up the place and make some fun. Why run? And we